He's tall. He's lean. He's sometimes mean and the undisputed king of Halloween. On this episode of Game & Munch, we'll be returning to the Oblivion Tap Room to discover a menu inspired by everyone's favorite Sandy Claus and the cast of Nightmare Before Christmas. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourself for a very special treat as Jack Skellington and our friends from the Oblivion Tap Room demonstrate what Christmas is all about. Okay, so we're here at the Oblivion, again, for another really cool event, again, um, this time Nightmare Before Christmas, which I'm told is one of your favorite movies. Yes. It's, it's, it's a cool movie. It kind of uh, isn't Christmas until you've seen Nightmare Before Christmas for the season. Right. That's how you kind of started out. Yeah, it's one of those Christmas Day movies. Do you remember when you first saw the movie? Um, I was probably like 10 or 11. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I, think I was around that age as well. Um, what kind of drew you to the movie the first time you saw it? It was just like kind of creepy because I was still young. So yeah. I was like, oh, this is so cool. It's like something I'm almost not supposed to watch, but I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it was for me, too. A lot of the Tim Burton movies were like, I am not supposed to watch this, so I'm going to watch this and I'm My going to watch it. My mom might be upset if I watch it. Yeah. Well, it's not really that. It's not. Oh, when you're no, 10, no, 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 you're no. like, oh, this is edgy. Well, it falls into that category of like, Parents don't quite understand it when they see it. Yeah. So, how did it come about that you guys decided to do this event? And just the fact that it falls on Friday the 13th this year yeah. is pretty awesome. Well, I've been wanting to do a night before Christmas party for a long time because yes. I love it. And I wanted to be around Christmas time because that's when it's appropriate. Yep, fair enough. And, um, fair enough. and here it's kind of like Halloween all year round right. anyway. Right, right, right. So, uh, I was like looking through my calendar, I was like looking at Friday the 13th because I yeah. always like to plan December, cool, Friday the 13th. Yeah. yeah, I always like to plan cool parties for, uh, for Friday the 13th, and I was like, what am I going to do for Friday the 13th in yeah. December? Like, and I was like, light bulb, nightmare for Christmas, duh. Yeah. It's awesome, and what type of things do you got planned for tonight, and what are you most excited about? Um, well, we have uh, Bruno made an awesome menu, so we're going to have steak Another and awesome spider, menu. Boogie Boogie steak and spider steak. Oh. Oh man, so many good foods. Um, and he made uh, like Santa Claus's holiday ham yep, sandwich yep, yep. and a bunch of other cool stuff. And we've got a fruitcake, all different things to. You gotta have fruitcake. It doesn't. It's not Christmas unless you get a little bit of fruitcake. Yeah. All right, so we're back in the kitchen of the Oblivion with Bruno again, which is kind of his home away from home. Definitely my home away from home. I'm told, people tell me that you actually spend more hours here than anywhere else. Pretty much. Yeah. That would not be a lie at all. <laughs> and um, one of the cool things that's happened at the Living Tavern recently is that you guys have gone through kind of a menu overhaul. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Changed some things, you kept some things. Yeah. So we said, you know what, let's cut down the menu and do stuff that we want to do yeah. and change it up accordingly. Let's change with the seasons, let's do what we can with local stuff. Yeah. Um, Use a lot of local proteins, local bread always. Um, food is always fresh. Absolutely, absolutely. That's fresh just full of food. You yeah, um, for sure. You know, that was the push for it, you know, and we change it all the time. So, um, you know, we have our rotating burgers. So we don't have eight burgers, but we do have two yeah. that are going to be great. One's going to be our regular burger, and one's going right. to be a custom, you know, whatever it was. Last month it was Hall of Fire Hog Wild, now it's a jalapeno, an upgraded version, not like you're used to, but something new. Yeah. And I think that is more exciting than just having the same thing every day, day in and day out. You, you're never going to get a bad burger out of the Oblivion. No, no, and that's the thing. I mean, I mean they're pretty much out of control. Great burgers, but we also have yeah. great other food. We put on a bunch of sandwiches, Korean fried chicken right. lately, uh, the donor kebab, that's, they all sell like crazy, and the po' boy that's made with local yes. rock from Titus. Yes, Bay. I was looking at that one yeah. and seeing, seeing the, new, the new they're menu. They're great, like, oh. great sandwiches, and they, you know, we sell a lot of them, so I haven't bothered to change them yet. Uh, we now offer entrees, and all those are, everything on it is made from scratch, so yeah. can't complain about that. You know, it's not something that's coming prepackaged. It's come, coming from these hands, these guys that's here, yeah. hand, hand making things. You know, our ravioli is handmade, our pasta dish is handmade. Yeah. We're hoping people, people like you, uh, yeah. enjoy it and come back and see what new stuff we do. So, um, but for this event, 
for the Nightmare for Christmas event, you guys got some crazy stuff going on as well. Yeah, just some specials, just playing yeah. around, having fun, yeah. you know. Uh, this one's a little weird, we're gonna do, but I think it'll fit. Yeah. That's just me, though. I don't know. Yeah. What, are, people what, like are, it. what are some of the things we can expect to see after this one? Uh, well, uh, we're gonna have the uh, Christmas ham steak, which will be good. You know, it's Christmassy kind of thing, so that's cool. Maple glazed ham steak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, spiced parsnip puree, so that's yeah. parsnips pureed with cream and butter and flavorful things and right. spices. Right, right, right. Honey and carrots, so really holiday dish. Uh, made a killer uh, cornbread fruitcake. It's, it's like, a, so uh, describe it to us. What is, what is your rendition of the fruitcake? Uh, well, it's this awesome cornbread, uh, great cornbread base, and then we just added uh, crystallized ginger, uh, dried pineapples, uh, maraschino cherries, toasted walnuts, and I believe that's it. And then a little cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. That does well, not yeah. does not sound like any fruitcake I've ever awesome. eaten. Before. That sounds that sounds totally totally amazing. I've never heard of fruitcake. Yeah. So um, so what are you gonna show us here today? What do we got? We'll show you three dishes right now, actually. <laughs> that works. Special awesome. plus three. Three just walked in. So that's awesome. We'll that's do awesome. all three. Oh, sweet. <laughs> all right. Let's see. We'll start with a ragu. This is a popular one. Okay. Cool. So this is uh, Bermonte, which is uh, just a fancy name for butter sauce. Yeah. It just dresses it. It's not really complicated or anything like that. Grab your laser in the water. Nice. They're made with uh, sunchoke and mascarpone cheese. Oh. And sunchokes are like, um, they taste like artichokes. They're yeah. in no relation to artichokes whatsoever. And they're quite delicious. Um, and then we'll start our special pasta here. Right. So this has... What's the inspiration for this this particular one? Uh, black and white, like uh, black and white. Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington. Yeah, Jack Skellington. there you go. I've only seen the movie like twice, I think, and that's recently. We're gonna have to sit down and watch it together. Yeah. I'm so sure. white anchovies in oil. These are not like regular anchovies, where you think they're like super fishy. Right. 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 They're different. They're uh, kind of. Uh, Puckery, I should say. Is the smell still there? A little bit. Smell it. Yeah, you still definitely, you definitely get that fishy smell. Yeah, for sure. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Anchovies are pretty, pretty amazing. I, I love the taste of some anchovies. We're gonna add a big spoon of this is black garlic. Oh yeah, it's fermented garlic. Getting that black and white in there. I see where you're going with this. Take that off the heat for a second. These are our raviolis. Cool, we make them cool. from scratch. Get a good look at those. <laughs> He's a master of his craft. Craft. He can have three pasta dishes going at the same time. Absolutely. And our ragu is going. In. That's the last one. Just want to let the sauce cook down. All right. Looks good. What's all in, in the pan right now for this one? Uh, same words on the tomatoes, carrots, uh, onions, garlic. Really simple. Do you have Very a favorite? Simple. Do you have a favorite out of all these three? Possibly this one's special we're doing tonight, just because it's a little different. Yeah. Shot it with a little bit of lemons there. Yep. A little lemon, give it a little, little zip. And then we're just going to throw a bunch of fresh tarragon in there. Beautiful. Give it a little, a little thumb, a little salt. Pepper always. Presentation, yeah. presentation is key. It looks beautiful in the band. So this one's just going to keep it simple. Now, it how, now, how many people is this for right now? Oh, uh, just one. Oh, okay. This is this is. But one. obviously, you could share. I mean, you could say one, but this will, you know, you could share this amongst friends. Again, you're probably going to be taking some pasta home. Yeah, always here, always. A little more oil because it's good. <laughs> a little cheese because why not? Beautiful. There's the special. That looks great. There's pasta dish number one. Be pasta dish number two. Yeah, and this is our handmade uh, ravioli sunshine. Oh man. Little pockets of heaven. Now this next one looks intense. Yeah, this is a mountain of food. Yeah, this one, this one is where. This, 
should say that it's kind of it's kind of the manly pasta dish here. It's, 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 yeah, you get this, you'll be taking it home for a few days for sure. Throw a little hefty on the cheese on this one. Oh yeah, yeah you want that for sure. There you go. That's awesome. So that's dish number three. That's going to a customer that, as we that's, speak. That is ridiculous. Both of these. So these are two new dishes. They'll be on for a bit. Oh my god. And that is a special tonight. Give it a pull, see if you like it. All it's right. Be all different. Right. I'm gonna warn you of that. I don't mind different. What are the ingredients on this one again? Okay, let's let's cover these again. White anchovies, black garlic, tarragon, pasta, little cheese, a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Pretty basic, mm. but intense flavors. That is awesome. Different. Mm. No, that is awesome. You wouldn't be upset if you got that. No, 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 this is good. Oh, man, I love, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of anything that has a, a good level of saltiness. Mm -hmm. And this is perfect. Oh, man. And the black garlic adds a little sweetness, so it's not yeah, expected. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah, yeah. I actually, anytime you think, like, you get an anchovy, you're thinking, okay, that's where you're gonna get yeah. the taste. Not at all, I mean, there, it is not taking yeah. over the dish. It's different, it's a unique everything. pasta dish, for sure. Yeah. yeah. He leaves me with a ridiculous amount. And then you have to eat later with your friends. So. And Bruno, thank you so much again. As always. It's always awesome. All right, there's our buddy Chris. Chris, what do you think so far? It's delicious. It's very tasty. I'm trying to decide, do I stick my face in this a whole lot, or do I break up for like some beverage? I'm going to stick my face in this for a little bit, fill my mouth, wash it down with some beverage, and then get back in it. These are fantastic. This time, I didn't just get the jar rub. I got the medium sauce on it. And it kicks it up a notch. Good flavor, good amount of spice. I got the beef sweat already starting to happen, so I'm happy.